Super Retro Force. It's an intro. Ah, oh, Thanksgiving. It's a time for family gratitude and more importantly, food. Now, while parents are hustling in the kitchen, preparing the feast of the year, the kids are huddled around the TV, button mashing their way through some of their favorite video games. However, the same can't be said for the gameaholic. Haha, <laughs> no. Thanksgiving for him isn't about basting turkeys or even unlocking cheat codes. It's about something far more sinister. <laughs> That's right, terrible video games. So, while you're passing the cranberry sauce and eating the mashed potato, the gameaholic is passing on his sanity, all in the name of Thanksgiving Gaming Justice. Oh, hey guys. You know, it is a much time-honored tradition, this time around the holidays. Uncle Fred's coming down the steps, getting ready to get drunk once again. Grandma Mildred is already fucking drunk, messing around with the neighbors, messing around with the rest of your friends, because she thinks she's some 70-year-old hot grandma. Ew, you nasty-ass bastard! And what are the kids are doing while the parents are busting their ass, cooking a Thanksgiving meal? They're sitting around the TV and they're playing video games. Now that might be some time-honored traditions for some of you bastards out there, but it's not for me. Well, I sit there alone, sit there, talking to myself and say, Well, Gameaholic, what game are we talking about today? Well, why don't you calm the fuck down, shut your mouth, put your balls back in your pants, and we'll talk. The game we're going to talk about today is one that has eluded me quite some time, but we've talked about this series in the past. The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare on the Super Nintendo. And that game we're gonna talk about, which I'm already aware it's been talked about on other channels, but you haven't heard my way about it. Let me show you something different, you dick-nosed cheese fucker. What is wrong with you people? The Simpsons, Bart versus the Space Mutants on the NES. Now, that's the game we're gonna really friggin' sit down and talk about today. Some of you people who are these modern stand-up kind of people who all sit there and talk about friggin' games like comparing Piglet to Silent Hill. What the fuck? So let's get back to business. Let's pop this piece of shit in. Let's pop this piece of shit in. So this game was released by Acclaim in 1991. And how many times in the past have I acclaimed my balls? You're playing the game as Bart Simpson. You know, the normal eight, nine, 10 year old little bastard with a yellow pointy spiky hair who's only been on TV for the last 36 years. Well, duh. The whole thing is, is the game is about Bart Simpson defending Springfield from these aliens. Now, Every level that you play in this game has these different challenges. So what kind of challenges are we talking about? You know, a side scrolling adventure, uh, jump, jumping through, uh, you know, hopping over Jebediah Springfield's head, or maybe helping Lisa with her homework. No, it ain't anything simple or fucking fine like that. It's something stupid like, oh, well we gotta make all the non-purple items not purple. Already a claim? Baby's first fuck up is what I like to call this. Why? Because I'm telling the truth? That makes me a bitch. So as you're running through the level, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. You're not going to know the first time around exactly what items you're going to need to get, what you need to do. These coins that you get in each level will help you throughout the game. Buying keys, buying whistles, buying these fucking rockets, whatever the fuck they're called. And you're gonna need them to turn no items non-purple. The spray can is gonna be your best friend. You drop towels on fucking items, you s use the friggin' wrench to fucking turn the, the I fire hydrant, whatever the fuck it's called, I don't even know. Another thing in this game is the x-ray glasses. Now with the x-ray glasses, you have to put these on from time to time to see if these real people from Springfield are actually real or if they're aliens. Okay, 
Thank you, Rowdy Roddy Piper, for your fucking insight! I guess Bart's gonna kick ass and chew bubblegum! I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. I hope Bart sticks that gum up his ass! Cool, man! You collect these coins that will spell out the name of a Simpson character. Collect all these coins and spell out their name, Maggie, Lisa, Homer, whichever, and they will help you during these boss battles. So in this first fucking boss battle, I don't even know who, who the hell this numbskull idiot is. Come on. Dick. Yes. Okay. Well, that, that was a pain in my tit. So after this, we proceed on to level two, where once again, the aliens are trying to foil Bart and the rest of the Simpsons. To what avail of what challenge now? Um, collecting hats. Collecting fucking hats. <laughs> oh, fuck me! You can't make this shit up! And, it, and in level two, the, the game goes from being normal to being stupid and messed up at the same time. Look at the friggin' enemy rundown in this level. Towels, marshmallows, donut jumping shoes, not to mention the aliens on top of it. If I seen donuts coming after me, I seen nobody in shoes, think the invisible man is trying to get behind me and stick it up my ass, I would be scared shitless, no joke. But in a Simpsons game? It could happen. Now the controls. Listen to this. You hold A to run. You press A to jump. You press A and B together to do a super jump. Ah! Some of the most rigid fucking controls in this game, not to mention the controls already cutting into your fucking hands and how you're gonna whack it later on. Oh, what's his name, buddy? Whack it? And you must learn these jumping tactics. You have to. It's crucial to learn how to jump over some of these fucking platforms in the game. Fuck! You know what's really been deteriorating my brain right now? Is when I first started this game up, I was like, oh, the Simpsons music. That's kind of cool. The voice clips. Pretty, pretty damn not bad for 1991. But it's all you hear throughout the whole fucking game! Stop yelling at me! Level 2 boss is at least that bots lady who tries to kidnap you all the way back in the first season. Wow! Very entertaining! I have the mind of a weak old moldy fucking piece of bread! You think I remember that? Level 3. Now, what? Level 3? A lot of people online, I'm sure you've never even seen past this damn level. A lot of you've never seen past the friggin' mall. But in level 3, you're at the carnival. And in level three, you could play the carnival games in the game. The fuck? Why don't I just pop on carnival games for the Wii? Because it's not like that. You need to play these carnival games to progress through the level. Like dart throwing and that fucking thing where you gotta hit the, the, the hammer onto the whatever the hell it's called and hit the bell. Bart sends this kid 600 feet to the ground to his death. Well, I didn't expect that in The Simpsons, but I'll take it. The whole point of it is collecting all the balloons, and when you get to the end of this level, you fight your arch nemesis, Sideshow Bob. Who ends up being a pushover at the end anyway, so who gives a shit? Level four is the museum level, where you have to, I don't know, maybe collect dinosaur eggs or you know, possibly just run right to left and, and beat up a dinosaur at the end. That's what I would expect, you know? That sounds like a really 
decent thing for an already unexpected fucked up game. Is that what you do? No! No! You collect exit signs! Collecting fucking exit signs! I already want to exit this fucking game! I already want to exit this fucking lifetime with this bullshit! Are you fucking kidding me? You could have made it stupid and got away with it! Exit signs! Oh, fucky do! But memorable! Simpsons character, do we fight here? Maybe Patty and Selma? Maybe Hans Mole Man? No! Security guard number one! Now level five, we are at the final level of the game. Usually at this point I'd sit here and scream and yell up the scream about, Oh, why is this game so short? No, this, I'm kind of glad this game is this fucking short. Just like my friend Andrew, he's pretty damn short. But you know what? He'll run circles around half of you guys on the internet. He's got a job where he runs around pushing things. I'm not going to disclose where he works because that's none of my damn business and it's none of your damn business. But guess what? Kiss my balls. What does that have to do with anything? So the final level of the game takes place at the nuclear power plant. Okay, that's respectable. It's kind of where it ended in the arcade game, which I feel like I should have played today. Maybe sometime soon. Naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. The whole point in the power plant is this, the last item that you are collecting throughout the level. Nuclear rods. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So as you're running up and down through the nuclear power plant, you're collecting these rods and you see your family members. Okay, whatever. It's a giant fucking maze where you have to have these combination numbers. And let me tell you, it is a damn bitch. I don't know where I got these numbers from. I don't remember how the fuck I did this. But it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. This level is so fucking tedious. Going in, going in the door, coming out the door, finding Maggie, going in the door, coming out the door. Oh my God. I just want to know what the final boss is in this game. Okay, so you have Maggie come with you. You open the door. She throws her binky into the reactor. And that's it? That's it? There's no final boss? There's no fucking, you don't fight Montgomery Burns? You don't do anything like that? Are you fucking high? Or are you just incredibly fucking stupid? I assure you, I am not high. Holy shit! And I thought for a time of this fucking game, I thought around the time of this game they, they would have been fucking smart. It was 1991, you're already stupid enough as it is. The show's already possibly practically in its fucking peak. And you can't even put a final boss in the game! And look at this, the ending credits, the ending credits here shows Bart looking at some fucking cut of the mountainside in fucking Kentucky, wherever the fuck he's at, I don't even know. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! Bart versus the Space Mutants is dumb as fuck. While I tip my hat to the game for having its level of difficulty, its level of stupidity, its level of whatever the fuck the game is. Holy shit, you're telling me you couldn't think hard enough to do a goddamn ending? What is wrong with you, Acclaim? Jesus fucking Christ! Even back in the 90s you couldn't do shit. And, you, and, and, and you're the same fucking company that worked on fucking Mortal Kombat? Oh, but I forgot. You're also the same dumb bastards that worked on Batman Forever. I hate this fucking time of the year. I fucking hate this shit. 
You know, this is supposed to be a time where families come together and, and share experiences, share, share stories of their year. Even if Grandma Mildred is still banging the next door neighbor, it's fine. She already, whatever. It is what it is. With all the shit that goes on in the world, us, us gamers, us adults, us kids, we only ask for a few things in life. A decent paycheck, a place to live, some downtime to keep keep ourselves together every once in a while. That's what I like to do. I want to keep myself together enough to play these games. So you guys don't have to, I do this shit so you guys can come here and have a good time. I want to put a smile on your face or a, a bottle up your ass, whichever you prefer. Here on the Game of Holic Show, it's a free for all. I, I do these things that so you guys don't have to. I don't want to put you guys through the ringer dealing with this bullshit every year, every month, every time. So that's why I worry about me. I worry about what I have to do. And while these times come around, these trial. of the year once again I guess oh boy Bob motherfucking son of a bitch and humbug Snowball drive him mad Santa's glare 